guess what's on the workbench? This is a Rochester 2-Jet. And I wish y'all could smell it because it reeks of old gas. And um, you will never guess, I guarantee you, you will never guess what this came off of. Guaranteed. Make your guess. Put it in the comment down below. I'll give you just a second and I'll talk about talk about this thing and then I'll tell you what it came off of. So it's a friend of mine and um, he's had this vehicle for quite a long time and um, it's been sitting for a while now and he went to start it and it would not start and he um, asked me if I'd take a look at it and um, I guess I'll go ahead and now tell you what it came off of we'll see if you got it right you may get the engine right but I guarantee you, you won't get the truck right oh I just gave you a clue it's a truck um, so these originally came on the they Chevy used these in the 60s and I think they may have gone into the 70s and they may have been in the late 50s on some vehicles but uh, the majority of the time when you saw them they were in the 60s and but this came off of a Ford pickup and it's a it's either a 32 or a 34 Ford I haven't seen it in over 10 years um, uh, he called me and said uh, it had been sitting for a while and he tried to get it running and uh, gas just poured out of the carb so I know that the floats probably stuck and he asked me if I'd take a look at it and I said sure so he brought me the carburetor uh, so I still haven't seen the truck in a while and um, the engine that's in it is a uh, it's got a 283 in it out of uh, I'm assuming a 60s um, Chevy car and it's got a power glide transmission so it's like a 32 or a 34 Ford pickup it's got a chop top and it's got a 60s model 283 Chevy in it with a power glide transmission, two speed power glide transmission. And uh, years, in, my grandpa used to always do the work on this truck. And uh, I know years ago he rebuilt the transmission in it. And so uh, my grandpa passed away a few years ago. And so uh, this was a friend of my grandpa's. He called me and asked me if I could rebuild the carburetor for him. And I told him, sure. So um, I can't remember if I've ever had a two jet apart. Um, I'm not sure so we're gonna I'll set up time-lapse we are going to tear into this thing and uh, I did find a kit for it or at least I think I found a kit for it and uh, we're gonna tear into it and completely rebuild it and make it run like new and I'm gonna advise him to put a new uh, fuel filter on it I don't know what it has for fuel filters um, I would assume this is a fuel inlet and I don't know if that's a vacuum port or what but um, it definitely needs some it definitely needs a new fuel filter and probably uh, need to drain the tank so I'm gonna uh, go ahead and run these down till they stop we're gonna count how many uh, turns it takes so that we can kind of get a baseline for uh, setting this thing back. Uh, when it did run, it ran well. So we'll put the idle mixture screws back where they were so that uh, when he puts it back on there, it will run well. So y'all are gonna help me remember how many turns on these things. So we are at half a turn, one turn, one and a half, Two, two, and a two and a quarter, 
I might have to count that back, but. And so when we go back, we will turn them in until they stop and then back them out that many turns. So, put that there. Do the same thing on this one. Oh, this one's bent. Ooh, I do not like that. Um, hmm. You know what? We're going to assume that one's going to be the same. I would assume it would be. And we will... Man. Yeah, that one is bent. We're going to have to try to straighten this one up. We'll do our best to straighten it up. I don't know how that's going to go, how well that's going to work. I may have to try to find one. I might be able to dig through my carburetor parts and find one that would work. Since I've got a kit, we don't have to worry about saving any gaskets or anything. Uh, we're just going to break this thing apart. Like I said, I'm going to set up time lapse though because this is going to be a lengthy process. Thank you. 